GT Gamer is proudly sponsored by Into the AM. For high quality, affordable and unique clothing, follow the link in the description and use discount code GTGamerOfficial at checkout for 10% off. What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome to EDRP, a roleplay community and I have literally just loaded in for the first time and I'm, I'm on the public server and it's a different, let's put it that way. For example, A to run also grabs your radio. I'm still in the controls, but from what I've seen so far, it's pretty cool. And I need a car. Uh, the problem is, if I rob a car, the, yeah, the police kind of get alerted to that, so I can't do that. This also has no trainers. It has um, menus, which you can use. Let me give you an example. So I can greet you. Uh, sh hello. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, festive. No, that's not what I want to do. Greeting. Hello. Hi. But yeah, this is different. It's cool, though. I certainly like it. I don't know how to run without holding my shoulder, but it's cool. Oh, I so want to rob a car. Uh, let's call a taxi. How do you call a taxi? Uh, yeah. Okay, end the message. So, we are... Uh, I don't know where I am. That's a good point. I am... Hmm. You? No. Uh, I don't know how to enter my GPS location. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, I guess we're stealing the car then. Screw it, I'm stealing this car. God damn it, stop grabbing your shoulder. And when we get in, I will introduce you to EDRP, so make sure there's no cops around. There'll probably be an alert on the police systems now telling them that the car's been stolen. But, oh, I need to turn the radio off. Yeah, they probably know a car's been stolen, so I'm just going to be slow. And I don't know how to turn my indicator off. Oh, like that. Oh, god damn. Okay, I need to disable the radio. Right, I turned the radio off, so now we don't have indicators. How do I... Right, this is actually confusing me a little bit, the controls. But EDRP, what is it? Well, it's a roleplay server. EDRP stands for Everyday Roleplay. And you just got to roleplay as a person, I guess. So, as you can see in the top right, we got 15000 in our bank, we got $250 cash. We do need fuel, and also we are unemployed. So, we'll get, like, I think it's $150 every couple of hours in-game for, basically, welfare check. But other than that, we haven't got much. How do I turn the... Uh, I want the map. Okay, so we haven't got a GPS map, which is bad, because I need to know where we're going. Let me just check roughly where it is. We want the job sender, which I believe is that. Oh, go away, phone. Go away. How do I get the phone to go away there? Yeah, this this still some bugs, but it's a new server, so what do you expect? Right, that's the job sender. So that is on this street, down on the right. There's still a few bugs, as I said, keybinds and things. This is a new server, my hazard lights are on, I have no idea how to turn them off. But yeah, you basically got to roleplay everyday life. So right now I'm going to get a job. Ooh, red light. You do need to drive like you would normally drive, because otherwise you will get pulled over and you can get arrested and fined and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be careful when driving. I don't know how to turn my hazard lights off. That's great. All right, let's just very. Oh, we're in the wrong lane. So yeah, we just got to drive normally. Make sure there's no cops around, basically, before you uh, run the lights. Yeah, there you go. And there's our speed in the bottom left. I'm not sure what the speed limit is. I think it's 50, but I'm going to stick to 30 to be sure when there's cops around. The whole objective is not to get in trouble, 
it's just to live your life like a normal person. Obviously you can do things you can't do in real life, one of the jobs, you can be a fisherman, you can be a miner, a uh, garbage man, which obviously you can't do all of them in real life at once, but that pretty much is the objective. You get to live out the life how you want to live it. So I think that's an awesome concept, which is why I jumped in here. I'm very excited about this. They just got whitelisted on 5M, which means they have a private server, which only members can join. I am hoping to get onto that, but right now, as I said, I'm on public server. So we're just waiting for a green light, and these lights are taking forever. Like, not even joking. Oh, right, now the left lane on this side's gone. Jesus. Come on, lights. How do I turn my hazards off? That's what I want to know. Oh, down. You are not allowed to use the canine menu. Okay. I need to learn the controls. So up is phone. Left is left indicator. Right is headlights. And right indicator. And then there's down, which is hazard lights. Camera. I'm not sure what A does. I'm not sure I want to try it, really. X brings up that menu. That's useful to know. Ooh, and changes weapon. And Y obviously gets you out of the car. Right, I'm going to pull in... This is the job centre here, so excuse me, gentlemen. And I'm just going to pull up by here. And like any normal human, we're going to close our car door on our stolen Dodge Banshee, but just ignore that. And I can't be bothered to walk all the way inside, let's be honest, we haven't got time for that. We're gonna go and get a job. And it is really cool, we've got all the interiors, we've got everything, so all we need to do is walk into this circle. Remember to visit the job center, you'll need to select the appropriate job before taking service. Yes, I know. Uh, LB to access the job center. Ooh, LS Sanitation, that's a garbage man, taxi, obviously, mechanic, Ron Fuel, fisherman, unemployed, and miner. I want to be a miner. I wonder if it actually takes us to the mine. So you can see in the uh, corner, it's changed our job title to miner. Oh, just casually run over the top of our car. So we need to go... Uh, ooh, that's new. Show 10, vehicle actions, that is useful to remember. And let's get out of that. I hate to exit out. Mouse? Okay. Right, where do we need to go? Uh, is it that? Iron buyer? No, it's not that. Ore smelting. It's one of these truck symbols. Start mining job, that's the one we need. I don't know why I'm putting a GPS thing with there. We haven't got a GPS. I cannot see where I'm going. Oh, I nearly took that guy's car door off. Eh, go away. So we need to go to... I know roughly where it is, so we're just going to head that direction. Then I'll use the map to refine in. And I'll bring you back when we get there. Okay, we're near the area. We now was kind of a red light. I didn't notice till the last second. The straight on was green, but the right... Whatever, it was red. Right, so we're near the area. Where do I have to go? Down here, right. Next junction is on the right. So you can turn right on red in America. Thanks for that. They should actually have that over the here. Maybe turn left on red because it's the opposite. Yeah, whatever. We're getting close to the mining job now, and I really want to see what this entails. So I should probably stop speeding. I haven't seen a cop yet, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to run into one soon. Uh, how do I Let's go straight down. I don't know how to get to the job, but... Uh, where is it? Is it somewhere here? Let's try going down here. Uh, oh, that looks like it might... No. I don't know how to get to the job. Is it down there? Yeah, that's probably where it is. Can we make this turn? Oh, it's going to be close. Yes, we can. And floor it. I... Oh, no. Where is it? I'm just looking for my goddamn job. I'd be terrible in a job interview. Right. It must be near here. It's back there on the right. Okay. Not there. It must be in here then. 
gotta be here. Uh, what the hell? It's literally, I'm right on top of the marker pretty much. It's gotta be somewhere here. Uh, okay, let me try. Ah, so there's no marker for some reason. So I want workers. Okay, that's not what I wanted. No, go away. So you, yes, workers close. Oh, look at that, that's cool. Right, we need a vehicle now. Oh, it's showing this marker, see? Right, what vehicle are we going to use? Oh, this one apparently. It doesn't give us a choice. Right, we need to go. Uh, how do we get out of here? I'm going to assume. Uh, hmm, let's go right. We're not going to make this turn. No. Come on. Ah, it scraped it. If you damage a vehicle, it gets taken off you because you pay a two grand deposit. Notice how I'm down to 13,000. If I damage the vehicle, I get less back in my deposit. So let's do this legit. So we need to go. Uh, where do we need to go? Uh, up to the mine, I assume. Yeah, there. Right, I know how to get there. We just gotta wait for a red light. A uh, red light. Wait for a green light. And yeah, there's no cops around. Screw it. Ah, and then it turns green. My my luck right there. Right, so we need to go up to the mine, and that is where we start mining. This is actually really cool. This process. So I want to show you this. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the entire drive up there, but I don't want to cut too much out. But it is really cool the way it works. It's like a real-world scenario. It's everyday roleplay. EDRP, that's what it stands for. So, if you get pulled over, you genuinely lose money, and you have to work hard for that money. So, it's not just as, as simple as, oh, I got pulled over, oh no, let's act. You genuinely lose stuff. And if you steal someone's car, that's their genuine car. They paid for that. No, they should have. They might have stole it, but they genuinely paid for that car. So they're genuinely going to be angry if you steal their car. You can also buy properties. There's so much stuff you can do on here. It's unreal. It's amazing. So right now we are literally just driving to the uh, to the quarry or the mine, whatever you want to call it. Technically, it's a quarry, but let's class it as a mine. So yeah, red light. And I'm pretty sure we just missed the green, so this might take a while. So I'll cut this out and I'll bring you back when we get there. Okay, guys, we're doing about 50, like 46 to 50 uh, along this road, which is Sustantia. And I think that's a pretty reasonable speed. We're getting close to the mine now. And we do actually have to go inside the mine to mine. I don't know why I slowed down then. I was holding the trigger. Yeah, along the way, nothing eventful happened. I nearly rear-ended a car, but that was just me driving like a dumbass and there is the entrance to the mine I'm not sure what the area of patrol in this area is I think we can go anywhere but there might be specific areas you're not allowed to go I know you're not allowed to drive police cars military cars uh, ambulances anything like that unless you're actually doing that as a job but we need to get down into the mine. I'm pretty sure, like, let's be honest, there's probably not a speed limit in the mine. There's someone else mining. That's, I'm pretty sure that's a real person down there. That's so cool. Shows that we're actually in a real server, not just playing alone. It is cool, you do bump into people. I saw quite a few people at the job centre. I drove past someone on the way here. I have no idea where I'm going. Down there, I'm pretty sure. Okay, uh... Oh, this is the road that goes around the outside. That's not fun. Okay, guys, we're actually on the right road now. We're going down into the mine. We need to take this road. And is there a marker? I don't think there is. Again, there's no marker. Um, ah. Oh, actually, no, there's a marker. Let's go to that one there. Ear break. And, uh, you really staying in your vehicle I'm not sure that's I keep pressing the wrong thing no exit that's so irritating that menu um, let's get out because let's be honest you wouldn't mine out of your vehicle like just lean through the window with a spade or something just it, it doesn't really work so let's go here 
and I want to get a scenario going for this, so... Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to press. How... Oh, can we use the arrow keys, maybe? Uh, job. And what would be a good one for a miner? Jackhammer. Oh. Okay, that one doesn't really work properly. Uh, oh, there we go. And now hold LB to collect ore. Oh. Oh, I'm getting it. You can see in the bottom right corner I'm collecting ore and I've given up already. That's that's great. So now we just stand here and collect... Um, just reading that hint in the corner. We collect the ore, I guess. Not sure how long this takes and I'm not sure how many jackhammers we bought. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 jackhammers because that should be just about enough to fill this truck. But I'm, as I said, I'm not sure how long this takes, so I'm going to cut this part out, and I'll bring you back uh, once we've done it. Okay, that didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would. We've hit the maximum number of all. That was about a minute. So, yeah, that's not that bad. <laughs> Stop holding your shoulder, dude. Like, seriously. All right, let's get back in the truck, and we need to go... Uh, I think we need to smelt it now, so that would be... Uh... No, not that one. There? Yeah. I know where that is as well, thank God. So, it's there. That's where we need to go. So that was actually pretty interesting. It would be cool if it started the animation automatically when you um, start the job. It'd be also cool if the animation worked first time, but then you can't knock it. Things like that happen. This is a 2013 game, for God's sake. But now, what happens is we go to smelt the ore, and when you smelt the ore, then you get raw materials like copper, diamond, stuff like that, and you can go and sell them. Let's take a shortcut, shall we? No, 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 it's... Ooh, we scraped there. That's probably going to take some of our deposit, but we'll make money off this. So, yeah, you need to um, go smelt the ore, and then you sell the resources, and if you get a diamond, diamonds are like the prize thing. If you get one of them, you can sell that at Vangelico Jewel Store for quite a lot of money. I don't know how much, but it's quite a lot of money, I've heard. So, is it going to raise the barrier? No. Ah, come on. Okay. We're going to be respectful and not take down this guy's barrier. I know this is probably even more illegal, but don't worry about it. So now we got to go and smelt the ore. Okay guys, we're coming up to the smelting facility now. Let me just stop at this red light, and it's clear, turn right on red. I love that rule so much. But that's one of the best things ever. Right, the smelting facility is over there. How do we get to it, is it? Uh, I thought it was down there, but it's not. It is. Ah, uh, that counts as yellow. Uh, yeah, um, is that it? Yes, it is. I remember now. So, you need to take a left here. I need to start using my indicators more. But the problem is, they clash with other keys. The key bindings do, so... I don't know. It's not really good. Right, turn right into here. This is a two-way road, really. No. Maybe two motorbikes, but other than that, no. Right, so we need to... Let's not park like an ass. Oh, watch out, buddy. So, let's go back up into here Ooh, and there, get out right, we need to go sell our ore is that a real person? I don't think it is stop grabbing your shoulder, I don't know how to stop that but it's, it's funny, I can see why they did it, it's for the police officers in the server but yeah, that's a bit stupid right, there is where we need to go over there, let's run Screw it, let's go. I do apologise about my voice, by the way. I've got a sore throat, that's why I'm talking quite quietly. That and the fact that <laughs> my dad's in bed next door, so... Right, where do we go? It's here, I believe. Yeah, let's see what we got. Is it going to tell us? The clipboard's out. It automatically did the animation. You do not have enough refined ore. What? 
but we got all. Okay, that is. Uh, oh, why can't I zoom out? I know. Is there somewhere else we have to go? Copper? Start mining job. Iron buyer? Oh, come on. Ah, goddamn, can't click it. Gold buyer? Ooh, I remember. Ah, I missed it. We gotta go to refine. Damn, we gotta go back up to the county. Ah, oh, no. That's a pain in the ass. That is right there. So we're going for an even longer drive. And hopefully we'll come back with some refined ore. Okay. That was... We've just lost our deposit and we're facing the wrong way on the highway. Just excuse me while I turn around. Sorry. It's only a headlight. It'll buff out. Right. That was not supposed to happen. I was not concentrating. Ah oh, well stuff happens you know so we're still on our way up to the refinery it is quite far it's in um, Harmony I believe yeah it's near Sandy Shores so I need to concentrate on the road more so we're just gonna continue our drive up there like nothing happened look at all these trees by the way that is so sick like that that's evergreen trees it's got a little bit of everything I need to slow down I'm speeding massively but look at all that. That is so cool. You've got the wind turbines there, and then the trees over here. Obviously that's not part of the uh, vanilla mod, the vanilla game, that's a mod, but that still looks really cool. And I'm going to show you Harmony as well, because Harmony looks even better. Like, I'm not even kidding. The amount of time someone spent putting all these trees in. That, that billboard used to be there, I'm pretty sure of that. But these trees... Look at that, there's different types as well. Someone spent a lot of time putting these in and it just transforms the map. It really does. That does not look like this standard intersection. Like we're near the prison, but you can't even tell. It's amazing. Wow, look at this coming down by the prison. That is, it's unrecognizable. Like I, I can't really drive whilst looking to the side, but that is like seriously. Well done to whoever made this mod. I know it's not uh, EDRP themselves didn't make this, but or Large Farm, the guy that runs it. But oh, I did not know that was there. That's so sick. Wow, that looks. That doesn't even look like the same dirt road. That's amazing. But yeah, this is a mod on 5M, which any community can use, and I think it just looks so damn cool. Like, look at all the types of trees. Nothing looks the same. It's like a completely different area. I'm going to overtake, undertake this guy. But yeah, genuinely, this is astonishing. There's the dirt road up to Rebel Radio. You can't even see Rebel Radio up there. Oh yeah, you can. Peers through the trees. Dollar pills, the 24 7s on the left by here. Actually, that's a good point. We need food and water. So, another part of this, our hazard lights have been on for the past million years. That's what that ticking was. Uh, those two bars above where the map usually is, I don't know why it doesn't show. The yellow one is our food, the blue one's our water. We need to drink. So, how do we drink? We go to the counter. Uh, oh, access the store. Come on. Come on, access the store. E. Try that. Ah. And I want uh, some bottled water. Let's take quite a few of these. And... Uh, oh, we can buy GPS. That's why I'm going. Sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, come on. Come on. There's an ATM right there, actually. I'm going to use the ATM so we can buy a GPS. So I want to withdraw. Uh, let's go for 1000. And that will put it into our money, you can see there. And then we go back to the store because I really need a GPS. So I want a GPS. And I also want... Oh, stop bringing up the phone. God damn it. Come on, open the menu. 
Oh, that's a glitch. I don't like that. E. Right, let's use the arrow keys. Um, what should we have to eat? I'm thinking a hot dog. Let's buy five hot dogs. One, two, three, four, five. Now, how do we access our inven eh, inventory? Uh, don't know. Is it I? No, it's not I. Q? No, why would it be that? Um, ah, it's F2. So, GPS, and we want to... No. Oh, God damn it, I hate that key binding. F2. GPS. Uh, oh, it's up. Uh, it's weird. That's not right. Let's try getting in the vehicle, see if that fixes it. Uh, no. Right, okay. Okay, guys, so I couldn't fix the map, so unfortunately it's just going to have to stick there. And also the street names are in the wrong place. I don't know what that's about. It could be something to do with the fact that I've changed the settings while I'm in here. I honestly don't know. But I'll, I'll fix it by the next episode, hopefully. But we are pretty much at the... Uh, or smelting place now, so this is where we turn it into a fine door. So we need to turn right into here. Ooh, don't crash. Don't kill everyone. Don't kill a family. Okay, just take the gate out. And it's somewhere here. This one I'm gonna do in the vehicle. Ah, perhaps not. I was saying this one you could actually do in a vehicle, so let's Holy crap! If that guy tries to beat me up, I swear to God I will kill him. Right. Plus one refined door. Plus one refined door. So this is going to turn all of our ore into refined ore. Right, we've reached the maximum number of refined ore. I think we had about ten. I oh, know. It took... Come on. Yeah, get out of the menu. And jump in the truck. Yeah, it took about a minute to a minute and a half. Not that long. It's certainly acceptable. So let's try not to take out the other gate if we can uh, if we can avoid it. So let's be responsible. That guy just got ran over. Let's not run him over as well. Come on, buddy. Move. This is a reversing truck. It will kill you. Right, and now finally we go back to the uh, refinery where we turn the refined door into metals and... I think it's copper, iron, gold, and diamond you can get. Obviously, diamond and gold are the most valuable. And uh, copper is, like, the least valuable, I think. And iron is, like, kind of valuable. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't know. I've never done this before. I'm going to find out for myself now. But once again, I'm going to cut out this drive. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to see me drive all the way there. But first, can I just say... Holy crap, those trees look good. We're gonna probably not going to see them again, so appreciate them while you can. I need to slow the hell down. Oh, that's how you die, buddy. That is a close call. Right, go, you stupid piece of crap. Yeah, take that. I shouldn't have done that. I probably lost about 500 quid off my deposit now, but either way, they deserved it. Right, as I said, I'm going to cut out this drive after I overtake this tractor, and I will see you down there. Hmm, that's cool. On uh, busy roads, the arrows and the uh, markings on the road are faded. That's a cool detail, I've never noticed that before. See, when you drive legit, the um, you notice things you wouldn't normally notice, like the no parking sign there. I've never noticed that, and I've been on this game a very long time, I've never noticed that. But then, I don't know, it is pretty cool. We need to, uh, yeah, take a left here. So, way in the lights, yeah, pain in the ass, both in-game and real life, but at the end of the day, if everyone flew through intersections, you would kind of end up dead, so... It's certainly worth stopping. And in-games, yeah, it's annoying, and you won't actually die, but... Sometimes you just gotta be legit about it, and it's actually quite fun being legitimate about it sometimes. It's like we've all done that thing where you jump on GTA and you go, right, I'm gonna drive legitimately this time. And about two minutes in, you end up ragging it, but just ignore that. You can actually drive probably on... Shit, it is this way. I thought I took the wrong turn in then, but I didn't. 
Right, let's go this way, and then it's left at these lights. They don't have a texture for me, that is a glitch, so I'm just going to assume they're green, otherwise I'll be sat there all day. And there was no one coming anyway, so yeah, I'll just assume they're green, it was safe to turn. And then we take a right into here, and we should be able to sell now. I certainly hope so. Ooh, we got another truck here. Right, I'm going to pull over like this. We might be able to talk to them, but I'm not sure how the text chat in this game works. Right, let's jump out. And run inside without a hand on our shoulder. <laughs> I'm not going to keep doing that joke, I promise. It's got old already, I know that. But it's still pretty funny. I keep going left, god damn it. Right, go through here. And... Ooh, got an itchy shoulder. Just let me scratch that. I'm in a rush, but I'm scratching my shoulder. And there's our friend down there. So, let's just run over here. And let's walk up. We don't want to startle him. Number 88. So, LB. And what's he going to give us? Please give us a diamond. Gold, iron, copper. Copper, iron, gold. Copper, iron, gold. Just looking for a diamond. Copper, iron, gold. Copper, iron, gold. Come on, give us a diamond, please. I'm asking nicely. It's given us quite a lot, though. No, no diamond. Nope, still no. It's given us the same amount every time. I wonder if that's meant to be like that or if that's a glitch. Copper, iron, gold. A lot of iron we're getting. Come on, give us a diamond, please. No. Ah, I don't have enough. And we've reached the maximum. Okay, get out of that. Just throw it on the floor, why not? And run over here. It's quite amazing here. Oh, come on, jump. And I didn't mean to open my inventory. In inventory? Inventory. That's like when you invent an inventory. And run back out to our truck. And now... We can, because the gold and all is technically on us, we can take our truck back to the uh, depot and get back our personal vehicle. Um, I think we're going to do that. It, it'd be easier driving around in a car than in a big, heavy truck. So, how are we going to get out of here? I think we're going to have to... Oop, come on, make this turn. Make it, make it, make it, please. No. Oh, well. And go that way. I think think we're not going to make this. That's a bullard. I thought that was a cone. Yeah, that we had an extra turn in there we didn't need to do, but don't worry about it. And, eh, don't hit the barrier. Let's go return our truck, get our $2,000 back, and see how, um, see how much damage we took. Probably quite a bit. Once again, the lights ain't working for me. So, the truck goes in... Is it here? No, it's the next one, isn't it? So, right on red, but we can't do it because it's sewn up the, tra the traffic lights. Look at that though, that's a modded vehicle, the vehicle they've added, that's pretty cool. That looks like a genuine car you'd see on the road. Oop, can't quite see it like that. And they decided they wanted to go, so we're going to run round here. And left indicator. Yeah, it's actually indicating. Look at me, I'm learning. Oop, didn't mean to hit that, sorry. Right, and it is in this place on the left, so, uh, not sure, do we turn it in here, I think? Uh, I can't see what that says. No, that's to store the vehicle, oh no, no, that is the right one. $1,864. So, eh, we lost about £136. Where's my car? Please tell me I stored my car. Oh no, I've lost my banshee. Ah, uh, okay. We're gonna have to steal a car. I really don't like doing this, but we're gonna have to steal a car. I don't wanna do carjacking though, that's like a federal crime. I just wanna do measly stealing a car. So let's just run down the street and if we come across a car, then we're gonna take anything in there. Oh my god, are you dying? No, you're just homeless, that's fine. Oh, I need to change out my clothes. God damn it, so I gotta run back and get back into my uh, my uniform. My uniform, my civilian clothes. I thought I ran not as far as I thought I did, I gotta be honest. I thought I was like half a block away, but nope, literally a hundred feet down the road. 
Right, to change that into our clothes, we go up here and press LB. And I cannot read that. Text chat, go away. I believe it's that one. Yeah. Civilian clothes. And is it not given our car back? Nope. Still nope. Okay, let's run through here. I think we might have a better chance of getting a car through here. Let's see if we can get out this way. I'm not entirely sure we can. Yeah, we can. Because this is a busier road, so we're going to have to, unfortunately, steal a car. And then when we get our money and all, we'll go buy one. I promise we'll go buy a car. I don't want to keep stealing cars. Okay, desperate times call for desperate measures. And we've gone from stealing a car to carjacking. So you, ma'am, I know it's an ingot, which is ironic because oh we're a minor. God, no. ah! But I need your car, sorry. You fucking fucker! Ah, seriously? I won the Golden Globe in high school. Well, I'll be a monkey, Zonko. Ah! Yep, <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, dude. I'm having my car back. I'm really not in the mood for this. If a cop's behind me now, I'm gonna wet myself laughing. Right, where do we want to go first? Uh, let's go this way, because... Uh, I can't remember where you can sell the stuff. Let me check the map. So, yeah, I knew there was one down here somewhere. So let's go sell the copper first. It's literally just around the corner, about, how far is that? 0.7 of a mile. So I genuinely have no idea how much we're going to get for this. We could get a lot of money, we could get pennies. But either way, it's an experience and it's worth knowing. So let's just fly around here. I know I shouldn't drive like this, but we're in an ingot. So if you put your foot down, it's still not that bad. Ooh, I've gone the wrong way. God damn it. Uh, let's just do what the GPS says and handbrake turn. Front wheel drive, wheel spin. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. And, ooh, I'm not used to driving in third person. Around here. Oh, it's, I really want to see... I, I, this, I've, I can't English today. I've re really enjoyed this. This has been really fun. I'm going to play some more of this. Oh, jump. Air drift. Oh, tail spin. There you go. No, god damn it, I crashed my car. Their car. The car I now own, which is not legally mine. I crashed it. But yeah, I, this has been an experience. I've really enjoyed doing this. I can't wait to do it more. Right, it's in here on the left. Open the gate. Oh, there's someone else here. This is the guy we was um, by... Yeah, there he is. It's the same guy, number 88. Hi. I don't know how to say hi to him. I have no idea how to use text chat. Oh, is it going to let me... Uh, I can't see the blip. That's a problem. Okay. Now? Okay, let's try running around my car. This is the magic trick. You run around your car and stuff works. Mm, perhaps not. Have we got... No, we haven't got any weapons. Why, won't... Why can't we sell... Huh. Let's get in our car. I hope this works. It'd be a shame if this doesn't work after all this. In the car, will it work? No. Okay. Get out of the car. Try again. If at first you don't succeed. Who is that honking? Um... Okay, I don't know how to get this to work. Come on, please. Okay, I can't get the copper to work. I don't know why. I'm going to admit defeat. We'll have to come back to this. We definitely got copper, though, so I don't know why that's not working. That is copper, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's get out of the vehicle and run. Nope, still not going to work. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's a real shame. Wait, do we have to be in our work clothes to sell stuff? Huh. Okay, let's go and... Uh, where is the next buyer? Let's go try and sell some iron. And if that don't work, then I'm assuming we have to be in work clothes. Okay, guys. The lights just turned green. We're going around here. And... They've got some cars in here, as you saw, they've got some mods, like that Jeep, for example. 
Uh, I believe that is a Chevrolet? I'm not entirely sure. But we're right near the car dealership, which I think works. So, since we're across the road, we might as well see what cars they got. I'm sure they've got some pretty nice cars. So, we're just waiting for this red light, as always. And off we go. So yeah, let's check out some cars. We might even buy one if we got enough. I don't know, 13,800 doesn't seem like enough to me. Sorry, didn't mean to nearly run you over. So someone else going to buy their car? Let's see what they get, shall we? When they pop out, we'll see what they get. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Where's the muscle cars? I want to see what muscle cars they got. Oh my god, this is glitched. <laughs> How'd you get the modded cars? Ah! Ooh, custom vehicles. That's why it's a nut. So here's a Chevy Camaro SS 1968. Uh, ooh. A Volkswagen Transporter, if it loads in. No, don't think it's going to. Taurus. Nothing's loading in. Ooh, Maserati. Let's try the Cadillac. Come on, please load. Okay, only some of them are loading. Charger. That's the minivan. Okay, that's not... The LaFerrari. How much is the LaFerrari? $1.2 million. Ferrari Hybrid. Ooh, that was a Charger then. Oh, that is nice. Oh my god. Stop being glitchy, game. This is glitched. Harley. This is the chart. Oh, look at that with the red lights. Oh, that's so cool. $200,000 for a Hellcat. We got the Porsche 918. Uh, Mercedes limo. No, a Shelby Cobra. That's not a Shelby Cobra. That's a Shelby Cobra. If it loads, come on. Please stop being glitchy. Ford GT. Nissan GTR. Oh, how much is a GTR? 650,000. Yep, that's my car. My Toyota Hilux Arctic. I don't think that's what that is. Okay, this is way too glitchy. Let's come back when there's nobody here. That's just way too glitchy. Right, let's let's see if we can sell this um, iron. If we can't, then it's glitched. So let's spin around here and pull out into traffic. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. And we need to now go into the construction site. So indicator on, since there's people here, and I don't want to get told off. Nice. Whoa. Okay, I didn't even look where I was going then. What the hell? Right, let's go around here. There's no, technically speaking, there's no speed limit in this construction site, so we can drive like a madman. Right, let's get out of our car, see if this actually works now. Uh, what? What? No, go away. Uh, okay, this is just glitched. I don't even know what's happening right now. Oh god, I'm out of water. I am out of water, bottled water, use, no, not the phone, give me the bottled water, god damn it. Yep, and I want some, uh, hot dogs. Yes, thank god that works. So we almost died, that's good. I can't get out with this glitch, I'm not even kidding. Something is broken here. Okay, guys, I, I genuinely, I cannot fix this glitch. I'm stuck in one of the cars we tested. And I can rev the engine, I cannot move. There's no trainer, so I can't teleport. I cannot do anything. So I'm gonna try and restart the server, like exit out and come back in. If that works, then perfect. If it doesn't, this might be the end of the episode. So let's just wait and see. Okay guys, so I tried launching the game again and going back in. I even tried restarting my computer, but unfortunately nothing is working, which really, that's upsetting. That pissed me off a little bit, because we spent all that time, we didn't get anything for our work because of some stupid glitch. 
I don't even know what that was about and I can't fix it. I will try and get back into the game uh, tomorrow maybe because it's late at night for me now. But yeah, it's really sad. We, we definitely have to try that again if I can get back in, but it's just not connecting as you can see, which really sucks, but it's just one of those things in life. There's nothing I can do. And yeah, I'm pissed off about it, but honestly, yeah, we, we're just going to have to do it all over again. I'm going to keep trying to get back in. I'm also going to try and get on the whitelist server, but as I said, no guarantees. So... Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace out guys.